Hello, hello. Welcome to Revelator Alpha, another very short radio podcast thing here uh, today. Breaking news, breaking news from, uh, from this mob right here. Yes, it's Harley Davidson, uh, and we're talking about four new motorcycles that have just been revealed uh, through uh, some other uh, avenues, let's say. Four brand new motorcycles that are coming as a minimum, and there's going to be some other ones as well, and we'll dig into those a little bit. But first of all, I just want to bring up uh, the... Uh, the live stream from yesterday when I was talking about all the brand new carryover motorcycles from 2022 into 2023 and the prices, they have now changed again. I was making a big play yesterday on the uh, the uh, Heritage Classic. The Heritage Classic here in the UK, they were quoting something like uh, nearly £30,000, which is 29995 or something. It's now been put back down to £23,095 uh, as a base price. And a lot, of, I think of some of the other models have been uh, changed as well. But that was the most notable one, the Heritage Classic as well. All the motorcycles revealed there uh, from yesterday are exactly the same. There's no difference in the actual motorcycles. It's just some of the prices uh, were different. Um, somebody uh, actually made a comment on that, saying actually they've been doing this in the last three or four years. Sorry, I've forgotten your name. Uh, but yeah, great shout from you because they they they're basically updating the website, so they're not just they're not getting everything accurate. Um, I think what they need to do is just fact check before they release or, or publish the website. But listen. Listen, I run websites as well. I know how easy it is to do that. You know, you release something and then you have to go back over it and correct a few things. So, you know, this is not really a big thing. But as I say, I was really surprised on that. Those prices yesterday, they are still really expensive. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but at least the Heritage Classic isn't. It's in line with previous years and that it's just at the top end of the soft tails. And just right at the bottom of the tours as well with the with the uh, well now that the Road King is not there, just a Road King special. Anyway, enough of that. I want to talk about four brand new motorcycles from uh, Harley Davidson. Okay, and it's uh, they're all coming for 2023, the January the 18th reveal. These are four brand new motorcycles for 2023. Okay, so if you watch my uh, live shows and my videos recently, the last few months, uh, we revealed that the Nightster S variant is going to be one of these brand new motorcycles. This has also just been uh, registered in the US as well and around Europe. Now, what is interesting here, this is the first brand new motorcycle, okay? It's that the Nightster is not on the carryover list. So it really depends whether we're actually going to get two brand new motorcycles or whether this Nightster S is going to replace the Nightster from 2022, which I find quite incredible, actually. If the Nightster S uh, is going to replace the Nightster, then that just shows that that Nightster was a real flop. Uh, so anyway, so that's your first motorcycle. Whether it could be one new motorcycle or it could be just two variants of the same motorcycle there. And this is just shown for the US and Europe and also other parts of the world as well. I can't testify to all models or, or all markets. Uh, and quite a few people, as I've been saying in my live shows recently, always, always emphasize this. It depends where you are and which model will be released. Just like I said, with the Sport Glide and, and other models as well. Somebody, a Frederick from uh, Thailand uh, said, no, no, the Sport Glide is here in Thailand. Yes, it's here in the UK as well. Uh, in other markets, it's not there as well. So anyway, the Knights to S, we know this is kind of old news in that respect. Okay. What I've been talking about the last couple of days uh, is this... Uh, this uh, RA370 uh, from uh, from the the uh, the Harley Davidson and QJ Motor from Qianjiang from China. This small CC 350cc bike. Uh, this is oops, sorry, wrong one. This is going to be registered as well uh, in. 
in, in the US and Europe, apparently. I thought I was under the impression that this is going to be released a lot later in the year and other markets might get it first. It appears, it appears that this 350cc actually is going to come a lot sooner. Now, I don't have a specific date, but it could actually be launched on January the 18th and it could go into many, many markets, US calendar, all around Europe. Um, I don't know wherever south america australia it, it could go anywhere so that's a second bike that has now been confirmed for a january the 18 uh, reveal okay if you remember uh if you remember last year we were talking about uh the icon bike the next icon bike and this was before before the al diablo was released and it's about three or four months and many people were commenting, and lots of you guys were commenting as well, that actually the, the next Icon bike would be some kind of um, rejuvenated Elvis Presley FLH bike or something like that, right? And many people were saying, and it was rumored, and it was coming through the ether as well, that uh, this this uh, homage to an Elvis Presley FLH show would be coming as an Icon bike. Well, it never did. It never came. OK, uh, we also had obviously the revival by the Electro Glide revived from the year before. And many were thinking, well, that's going to be exactly the same. Well, it appears now that this uh, this new bike. Uh, let me just show you from the, the actual press here as well uh, where it's coming from. Uh, wrong one. There we go. It's going to be. Uh, da, da, da. It was, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be wrong one, wrong one. Here we go. Uh, the FLH FB Electro Glide Highway King, and I got the, the few of the pictures here. These are old pictures, but we got we don't have brand new pictures here, uh, from uh, the new, but basically it's based around the old Electro Glide, the police, uh police road king that kind of thing and if you look at the model here from back in the day the 60s and 70s it's very much a electro glide revival as well so you know th th there is that to consider but this is apparently 2023 harley davidson flh fb electro glide highway king this has been certified now in in around europe and it's uh heavily touted to be certified uh in uh in the us and, and other parts of the world as well so just watch out for this this is your third bike here as well and basically i've got some details here as well uh it's got a 114 engine m8 114 engine uh 16 inch wheels uh, 90 b16 72h for the front 180 65 b16 81 h for the rear um and it's making a, a point here that all other touring models have the 17 inch uh, larger front tires and only the police road king electric glide models employ a 16 inch rear um the listed 57.8 inch height is relatively tall. Uh, and this is all from motorcycle.com, I believe. Uh, so, um, and the original FLHFB is an inspiration that may result in a tall windscreen as well. So similar to, to this, it's, it's similar to what this is here. Uh, it, I mean, obviously there's going to be color variances. It could be a lot of design features. The bike would look obviously completely different from an engine point of view, of course. But, the, you know, I've seen it reported in other magazines as well and other online publications and other press and other press releases uh, from various countries that it's going to look similar in color to this or accent pieces very similar to this. So this could be that the... You know, the as we talked about, the Road King has definitely disappeared. Well, this could be, uh, I wouldn't say the replacement, but, but, but there you go. Now, if you watch my other video uh, from the uh, about a couple of weeks, I talked about the anniversary bikes. And there's a whole list, of another seven anniversary bikes coming out as well. Uh, and uh, I made a whole video about that. So go and check that out. But we've also got the CBOs that haven't been released as well. We've only got one trike that's been released as well uh, in terms of a carryover bike. So expect different trikes and expect, obviously, your CVO bikes as well to uh, be mentioned. So those are your first uh, three bikes. OK, so this, I suppose, is the biggest surprise of all for me.
okay and i'm not sure what to make of it i'm not sure if this is correct i'm not sure how accurate it is but i'm going to show you exactly where this information is coming from as well now uh so let me just come here as well right so let me just uh read from here exactly this is motorcycle.com they've released a few uh few stories recently there we go so basically um uh, da, da. We've already covered a bit of the Harleys before, confirming the Knights uh, variant, uh, anniversary uh, edition models, the 2023 CVO lineup, potential new icon model. Okay, we've already talked about that. The X350RA, that's the 350cc. But now, here's here's it, the, the latest one, right? And a return to the US market. I'm not sure if this is going to Europe. I'm not sure it's going to other parts of the world. Other parts of the world still have this bike, right? It's the breakout, the breakout with the 117 engine. And this is from uh, the VIN uh, vehicle identification number information submitted to the US National Highway Traffic Safety Administration uh, lists three of these models. And that is the uh, if I can just uh, get into here, you may not be able to see that right there, but it's the R RH nine seven five S. The Knights are special. The X three fifty RA. The X three fifty RA. That's the the small CC. And here we go. The FXBR breakout okay and it's under custom and it's a 1923 cc which equates to uh, uh 117 engine okay now that is just the four bytes we haven't even talked about the uh the, the pan america 975 as well and there's obviously another strong link to uh, to uh, more bikes with the Revolution Max engine. So we could be in for a whopping surprise here on uh, January the 18th. But here, listen, I just wanted to bring these to you. These are four brand new motorcycles for uh, 2023, going to be revealed on January the 18th. I thought, I didn't think the breakout would come out. I didn't think it would come out with the 117. In fact, I'm really surprised it's the breakout with the, with the 117 uh, engine. I thought other bikes would come out. I, I was surprised that the 117 as yet has not been announced for the Touring models. And I'm surprised again, a lot of surprises here, that this uh, 350 is going to be, well, potential release on january the 18th for the u.s market and possibly the european market i did intimate that this might happen i did intimate that this may be brought forward for a lot of the models as well but 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 there we go i mean uh so yes uh look a couple of comments here yeah uh 117 breakout yeah i'm really really surprised as well uh what does cbo stand for uh custom vehicle operations are they worth the extra cost well good point uh hey cyborg hello uh and bet they use the tank of fxdr well who knows what what's going to happen but listen that was the news uh, for today for breaking news very short live show here radio podcast thing um it's just about these four new bikes that have been uh, revealed. Make of it what you will. Uh, it seems they've got definitive proof here uh, from the NH, uh, NHTSA or the National Highway Transport Traffic Safety Administration from the US. Uh, where this is coming to the US, I, I kind of think that it will now as well. And obviously different markets from around the world. Again, got to stress different markets. So we'll have different bikes and different models and different, you know, engine options as well as soon as i have more i'll bring it to you but thanks very much for watching and well all i can say it's uh it's been emotional and i'll catch you again ta-da